Hi guys, this is Sauro. In this video, we will learn how we can create an app that can send a WhatsApp message automatically according to our time. Okay, if, if you want to send someone to message after 10 minutes, so you have to set a time in this app and that one app will redirect you to that particular contact after 10 minutes with your message. Okay, so how we can create this app? and let's see the demo first okay so here you can see that's our app here right so that's the message you have to type something like uh, hello hello friends something and then you have to select the mm, the number okay so i'm going to select this number and now we have to set the time at what time we have to send this message to that whatsapp number so click on set time and here you can see 9 30 so let me just click on ok because i just want to send this uh this message to 9 30 or let me just increase this by 31 now you can see the 9 30 time click on ok 20 31 okay this will take the time as a 24 so we have to wait for some 20 seconds because right now is 9 30 and 49 seconds 52 3 4 I am not doing anything here right this will automatically redirect me to whatsapp contact number that we have selected here you can see hello friends right so you have to just click on the send button to send this message right so that's the process of sending the messages right so here we go so we need to click on start new project here this one and that's my project name my project name is whatsapp message wm okay so that's my first screen. Now I have to set here one layout. I'm going to drag and drop one layout as vertical arrangement and make this with this fill parent and hide this fill parent like this. And I'm going to change this background color to orange or pink something. Right now, click on user interface and we have to drag and drop one text box here to write some message like this. Click on vertical arrangement and make this one. Align should be in a center and you can make it in the top and align horizontal should be center like this okay now click on this text box and make this one with this fill parent okay and make this height is at least 20 percent like this and click on this multi line checked okay so that's our text box okay we have to type our message here now we have to set time right so he can see time picker drag and drop this here like this and change this test text to set time like this okay now i'm to make this one with this at least 50 percent okay like this and i'm to change this background color to orange and make this font bold like this Fine. you can design this app according to your requirement now i have to drag and drop one label also so we we know that the time okay so what time we have uh, set uh, already so just here i'm going to use your time like this font bold and make this one 16 like this okay now we have to use your list it means element so here you can see the list view just drag and drop this here now we have to display because we have to display your contact list so whenever someone click on this contact list and set their time okay then and here we have to set their message also so this message uh, this message automatically sent to that one contact number that we have already selected in this list from this list okay so now let's go to the uh, block section but before it we have to use one more thing that one is timer so you can see your sensor option click on it and drag and drop this clock here okay and make sure this should be disabled both like this okay and make sure time interval should be 100 so this will call 10 times in one second okay now we have to download one extension to redirect into whatsapp Okay, so go to the Pure Avida website here extension, just control and command F and type here WhatsApp. And here you can see 
there are a lot of plugins here right so we have to download one plugin that's name is and that's free is call log plugin okay and that one is you know first this one call log and whatsapp unit util extension click on this here is the file this aix file download this file right now go to the mit app inventor in the left side you will find extension option click on the import extension and drag and drop this extension here and import it after importing this extension you have to drag and drop this extension here like this simple now let's go to the block section okay now here we need one variable click on variables option and select this and that's your name and you can name right and let's create one list click on list and you can see the make a list option right drag and drop this here and we have to uh, we have to set some numbers here okay so like this so i'm going to set some dummy number here okay and i'm going to set you have to set here original numbers okay so that's dummy numbers here okay you have to put your own number with country code make sure first letter two letter is your country code plus icon plus your country code then your number okay make sure this one is uh, compulsory and you can add on more numbers from here right that's our numbers here and we have to display this number in a screen initialization click on screen this one when screen will initialize so we will set list view dot elements from this list okay so this name get names here right so this will list will display all these numbers okay now that's simple now we have to set the time okay and we have to get our time so how we can do this so whenever someone click on time picker it means there this one so after time set okay so we have to set we have to display the time here now we have to display the time in this label so label one dot text should be time right so we have to set we have to get the time first okay it means we are getting the hour and minutes both we are not going to get the seconds and all that things right because whenever we call clock dot time option a clock dot now so this will give you the lot of information about time okay but we need here two things only so that's why we have to create two variables here first one is for r okay so that one is r and i'm going to set this r, r value should be zero or something okay and then I'm going to copy paste this and I'm going to change this variable name to minute min and set this value also zero right now I have to create one more variable to get the full time value okay time and this one I'm going to set this value as a text so this one text this one right because we are not getting only number here in the time okay now whenever someone click on uh, um, whenever someone set the time okay from the time picker so what we will do we are going to set this r value it means set global r value should be time picker click on this time picker time picker dot r you can see the option of this one is minute this one is r this one and just copy and paste this and make sure this one label is but we have to display all this information in one label so what we will do i'm going to use your text and i'm going to use your join this one but make sure we have to set this here sorry time picker one dot r here and copy paste this here and we will change this global r to global minute and set this r to minute like this now we have to display both time in the label so i'm going to use one more string here like this and i'm to display the value it means get the r like this get global r value then i'm to set here the simple double dots like to separate the minutes and r okay and set here global r change it to minute like this all right and we have to enable clock and we have to call clock here now so just clock dot because we already have disabled the clock okay 
so we have to enable this clock here okay and after enable the clock now we have to code for clock okay so that's the most important part so whenever clock dot timer okay it means this one is enabled and this will fire so after firing this clock so whenever clock dot timer then we have to set this one global uh, sorry this one you can see global time value is null right now so we will set this global time value this one should be clock dot now and here you can see clock dot now option where this one here and we are getting the lot of value from this clock one dot now from the now right now we have to check the condition here okay so whenever whenever the clock dot timer okay this will fire 10 times in one second okay and we have enabled whenever we set the time okay because right now is 9 6 and we have a set time for 9 7 so after setting the time clock one dot enable right now this will call timer so what will happen global time for uh, will set the value as a call now value okay and we will call here whatsapp okay but we have to use your condition if else condition it means there if the time is 9 7 then we have to call whatsapp otherwise no right so for that we have to check condition so it means i am to use your if else click on control and you can see if 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 and we have to use your click on logic and and function this one and click on math and we have to compare the value right like this it means we have to whenever the call this one clock and you can see the call clock dot r you can see the r option this one if this one value instant means from which uh, from where we are going to get the value we are getting the value from the global time from here okay whenever the global time value r is equal to time picker dot r value it means time picker dot r value this one okay and we are fetching the current value here right because we already have said clock dot now it means current value is now we are fetching the dot now from value this one and we are fetching the r value from here from global time and is equal to time picker dot r then i am to copy and paste this whole code and paste it here because we have to uh, this uh, there should be two values should be true okay two conditions should be true it means call clock dot r should be same as timer picker dot r and click on clock and you can see the minute option also can you see it minute minute month minute this one the clock dot minute instant from global time equal timer picker dot minutes if the condition is true then we will call here whatsapp so click on this call logger and here you can see the open whatsapp sms number and text this one now we have to select the number so which number we are going to select click on list view whenever someone select the number it means list view dot selection can you see the selection this one list view one dot selection and text should be which text we have to send to someone text box one dot text it means this one so where is this option text box one dot text this one right this one if the condition is false then we will do nothing here okay because we are, we are calling that 10 times in one second right okay now we have to set this clock timer enable should be false here right after uh, if the condition is true then we have to make this clock timer should be false okay so whenever we set the time the clock dot true timer enable is true and whenever condition is true then we will set this clock dot timer dot enable is false okay so that's the code here okay so le let me just run this code and how this code work okay let's see so here you can see that's our app here right so that's the message you have to type something like uh, hello hello friends something and then you have to select the the number 
okay so i'm going to select this number and now we have to set the time at what time we have to send this message to that whatsapp number so click on set time and here you can see 9 30 so let me just click on ok because i just want to send this uh this message to 9 30 or let me just increase this by 31 now you can see the 9 30 time click on ok 20 31 okay this will take the time as a 24 so we have to wait for some 20 seconds because right now is 9 30 and 49 seconds 52 3 4 5 i'm not doing anything here right this will automatically redirect me to whatsapp contact number that we have selected here you can see hello friends right so you have to just click on the send button to send this message right so that's the process of sending the messages right so let me know if you have any doubt you can ask me on command and please 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 subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye